Welcome friends to Avi's Academy. In this video, I'll explain how to enroll to digital fluency subject in Future Skills Prime app. To do that, first what you need to do is you have to click on the search icon. There you have to enter digital fluency subject code of NASCOM, which is digital 101. So I'll be entering that digital 101, then click on to search. So your details with respect to digital 101 that is digital fluency subject will come. So there is a channel that is called as digital 101. You have to follow that channel that is you are joining that digital 101 group. Then you click on to digital 101. So here you will get the course content with respect to digital fluency subject. Digital fluency subject will have three modules. First module will be getting started with emerging technologies. Second will be application of emerging technologies. Third will be building uh, essential skills beyond uh, curriculum. So you have to complete all the three modules. Each module will have different chapters. For example, the first chapter, an overview of uh, getting started with emerging technologies will have around seven chapters. Similarly, the module two and module uh, three as well. So you have to slide to your left to see each module. You have to click on to each module and you have to read the content there. At the end of each module, there will be a quiz you are supposed to complete. For example, I'll look into my first module, which is getting started with emerging technologies. There you have the first chapter as an, an overview of artificial intelligence. So I'll click on to that. So this chapter has around 10 smart cards. You have to read through all the smart cards. So once you click on and read the smart card, automatically completed message will come. Then you slide to the right. Then uh, there will be images, there will be smart uh, arts or there will be infographics or there will be videos all these things you have to watch so as you watch and read through the content your progress will be indicated here i have finished uh, one smart card out of 10 therefore my progress is 10 percent here and now like that you have to complete all these nine smart cards and then you have to come at the 10th smart card. In the 10th smart card you have some content to read. You read this content which is given here. Then there is a quiz which you are supposed to enter. You click on to start quiz. There will be five questions. You have to answer all these five questions. There is no uh, limit on number of attempts. As long as you get five out of five you can try this try and answering uh, these questions. For example, I'll try here. I don't know whether I'll get 100% uh, answer or not. I'm just randomly ticking. Let's see whether it will work or not. So once you choose and I'll click on to submit. So it will take some time. So yeah, by chance, four correct answers I have given one uh, incorrect answer. So I can try this again, answer again, till I get 100% uh, marks. So once that is done, like this, you have to complete each of these uh, chapters in each of the module and you have to complete all the three modules. Then you are eligible for the final test. There are only two attempts which you have, attempt one and attempt two. Within these two attempts, you have to clear the test. Uh, you have to score 50% of the marks. There will be 30 questions uh, in each of these final tests. You have to score at least 15 correct answers to clear and to get certified from NASCOM. If you are already a part of the group and you want to see whether you, are, you belong to your uh, university group, you click on to that group icon here below. So there uh, you can see Mangalore University. So this is a group which is uh, created by NASCOM officials by collecting the data of the students and the fac faculty and there uh, they have uh, created an account uh, for us uh, by themselves. So here they have added me to this Mangalore University group. There are around 11,000 uh, odd students and faculty in this uh, group similarly you can also join other groups also and if you want to see your progress there is a book a kind of a image down here you have to click on to that this indicates how many points you have scored what is your progress etc all those now i am at in the third chapter where i completed 86 percent of the third chapter of the first module so these details will be available if i want to continue so I'll click on to that and whatever I have completed here that is uh, uh, you can see here. 
so this here second uh, part i have not completed so this is a uh, textual content uh, this will take me to another website i have to read this so read it and uh, when you are reading that also if you feel some of uh, the sentences or some things may come for your uh, one marks question that is a uh, objective type question so then uh, it is better to write it on your uh, book so that will always be helpful in writing the final test so this you can do this is my su just suggestion once you complete that once you read that a tick mark will come so this is an indication that i have completed this next if i click on to this uh, there i have my yeah this i have completed so you can click on to answer again so you can try this out so i have completed that introduction to machine learning chapter also immediately i got a badge so this will be reflected in uh, my profile but i am not sure how quickly it will be reflected let us see that so i'll yeah it will take yeah i'll open future skills prime app again so now if i go to my profile and i click on to my profile yeah immediately badges will be credited but will take some time uh, to credit the score it is still at 145 so this is how you can check your progress this is how you can see whether you have earned any badges by completing the chapters this is how you need to enroll to digital fluency subject in future skills prime i wish you all the best and complete your modules and each of the chapters under the module at the earliest and give a successful uh, try for your final test and uh, clear in the first attempt itself in the coming video i'll explain how you can prepare for your examination that is specifically final test and i'll share uh, a mock test link for you to try and uh, uh, clear the examination of digital fluency subject in NASCOM portal. Thank you guys for watching the video. If you like this video, do consider to subscribe to the channel and press bell icon to get future updates on the videos which I am going to upload. Thank you, thank you for watching.